Ah, most interesting. <laughs> A man with power growing out of head. Right, so what's it all about then? I haven't got a clue. Love God. Now, how does one do that? Well, in the first instance, as Christ said, when questioned by his disciples, Jesus answered, the work of God is this, to believe in the one he has sent. Amen. So, what that means is, there is power in believing without work. So, again, it's in one of the letters, uh, Romans, I think, Paul says that it is through God's grace that we do the works he has prepared, God has prepared for us, not so that we might boast about our own efforts and what we have done, as it were. Thy will be done. I wrestle with this question that I know I'm a very capable, gifted man in many ways, and yet I have no nothing to, to show for my efforts in the world. There are very beautiful, powerful examples of this. So Abraham and Sarah, Sarai waited and waited and waited, no child, and then along came Ishmael first with Hagar, his wife's servant girl, and then along came Isaac and from Abraham <coughs> come the three Abrahamic faiths, Jews, Christians, Muslims. So that's very important, but apart from anything else, demonstrating, proving that God is all-powerful, that although she was past childbearing age, Sarah, sorry Sarah, still bore a child. Likewise, Hannah <coughs> prayed and prayed and prayed, no children, but then she became the mother of Samuel. God kept his chosen people all wandering in the desert for 40 years when they could have crossed it to Sinai in a matter of weeks. So he kept them waiting. Moses was 80, I believe. I think I'm right. 40 or 80, oh dear. The, the sort of 340s in his life, he, he was sort of relatively unknown for the first 40, and I think he was very much involved with the pharaohs for the next 40, and then I think he led his people out for the next 40. I think that's right. So... In whatsoever state I find myself there was to be content. If I've tried my best to do my best in this world and have not, as it were, 
yet done anything, then it is not for want of trying on my part. And that's not just a sop to my conscience. That is my reality. Here I am at now 63 years old. Incidentally, my mother would have been 107 today on the 19th of September 2019. Um, so this is not a child speaking. And yet, there is no evidence of me in the world. So seek first God's kingdom and his righteousness and he will provide for you. Well, if you... Excuse too many quotes, but... <coughs> Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not upon your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. So, it is absolutely central, critical, crucial, that... <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> nice lady with the dog I chatted with earlier. <coughs> that one... <coughs> May I be a friend of that which is eternal and abides. To, to, to uh, John chapter 15, remain in the vine. <coughs> Christ within you and you within Christ. And from that you'll, you'll bear good fruit. So this question of God first, that is the first and great commandment. Morning. Love God first. Love God. Love your neighbour as yourself. So, the two are inextricably <coughs> mixed, joined, combined. But it is to love God first. So works, per se, of oneself in this world will come to nothing. If you first put your hand in God's hand, that which flows from that will last to eternal life. Amen.